blessed day to all of you brothers and sisters and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the diocesan shrine of jesus the divine word in christ the king mission seminary quezon city we are on the saturday of the first week in ordinary time our mass presider today is reverend father sherwin aromin svd our celebration will now begin Please rise. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of Grace. So praise him for me is your help and salvation. Come on, who now to his heart are drawn joining in glad adoration. prosper our work and defend us. Surely His goodness and mercy shall daily attend us. We are gathered together to praise and thank the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to Eucharistic celebration, my dear brothers and sisters. We also welcome those who are joining us in our live streaming here in the Diocese and Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. Today we take the votive Mass in honor of our Blessed Virgin Mary. We continue to ask the intercession of our Blessed Mother, to help us in all our needs in our prayers and at the same time to ask her maternal protection motherly protection as we continue to face these difficulties brought by the pandemic may god through the intercession of our blessed mother always guide and protect us we now acknowledge our sins my dear brothers and sisters so that we are worthy again to receive the lord in this sacred eucharist Together we pray, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your faithful who rejoice under the patronage of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, may be freed by her motherly intercession from all evils on earth and merit the attainment of eternal joys in heaven. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. The Word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, 
and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him, to whom we must render an account. Since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has similarly been tested in every way, yet without sin. So let us confidently approach the throne of grace to receive mercy and to find grace for timely help. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before him. O Lord, my rock, my redeemer. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the custom post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. While he was at the table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. I don't, I don't know if you are familiar, in one TV show in, the, in noontime, there's a game entitled Bawal Judgmental. Uh, this is a game show in TV entitled Bawal Judgmental. It's a game where players are tasked with the responsibility 
of identifying correct choices among group of people with distinctive characters or characteristics. Despite the contradiction with the title Bawal Judgmental, the player must meticulously examine their choices and make a good judgment in order to make a correct selections. The player should not be tempted to judge immediately based on their physical appearance or from what they see. Why I'm sharing this? Because in our gospel today, there, this is the message of Jesus to those who criticize him for joining the tax collectors, the sinners in eating. Bawal judgmental. The Pharisees and the, and the scribes were judging easily the actions of Jesus. Why does he eat with sinners and tax collectors? The scribes is scandalous for a teacher like Jesus to eat with the sinners and the outcasts in society. Like saying in Tagalog, Ano ba ito? Nakikikain siya sa mga marurumi at mga makakasal makasalanan. Alam niya ba kung sino itong mga kasalamuhan niya? Or even to judge easily the call of Levi, who is a tax collector. And during the time of Jesus, tax collectors were considered sinners. They judge easily the vocation of Levi. Why does Jesus call sinners to follow him and be his disciples? Like the experience of our seminarians, some of our seminarians who are being judged easily by others when they decided to enter the seminary. Bakit siya pumasok sa seminaryo? Hindi naman siya worthy to become a priest. Or magpapari yan, e ganyan yung ugali niya. Ganito yung buhay niya noon. We judge easily. Human as we are, we are tempted to judge easily. But Jesus came into the world not to judge us easily. For Jesus, bawal ang judgmental. But Jesus came into our world to understand us, to show us His mercy and compassion, and even to heal us from our brokenness and failures in life. Jesus even compares himself with a physician by saying, "Those who are well, does not, those who are well, those who are righteous, those who are perfect, those who are good, they do not need a, a physician. But those who are sick, those sinners, the weak and imperfect, they need healing." Yes like a physician or a doctor, they don't judge immediately their patient. But they need to understand first the situation of the patient, examine the patient thoroughly, diagnose their sickness, etc. Likewise, Jesus, our divine physician, He is ready to heal us and even call us to follow Him, to be with Him, because God sees beyond our physical appearance, or achievements, or beyond our sinfulness, or even our brokenness in life, God looks at the core of our heart. God looks at the core of our heart. Tinitignan ng Diyos ang kaibuturan ng ating puso. God is acquainted. God is familiar with our inmost hearts and knows the secret of our minds and hearts. And God looks at the desires of our hearts the yearnings of our hearts that the world can never give or offer. Remember, God knows us. God knows each one of us. In our first reading in the letter to the Hebrews, it says, No creature is concealed from Him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of Him to whom you must surrender an account. God does not judge us easily. Bawal judgmental sa Diyos. But for Jesus, hindi bawal ang magpakita ng pagmamalasakit, hindi bawal magpatawad, hindi bawal ang pag-unawa sa ating kapwa-tao, 
hindi bawal ang paghilom sa mga tao. My dear brothers and sisters, our celebration of the Eucharist, itong misa, nakikita natin, hindi judgmental ang Diyos. Bakit? Dahil sa misa, sa ating pagtitipon ngayon sa banal na misa, makikita natin na lahat tayo, we are not worthy. Lahat tayo, hindi karapat-dapat. Pero, dumadalo pa rin tayo sa pag ng Diyos. Mga makasalanan. Lahat ay gusto ng kagalingan ng Diyos mula sa Diyos. Dito sa misa, nagtitipo ng mga banal at makasalanan na gustong sumunod sa Diyos at makatanggap ng Kanyang pagpapagaling. So today, let us not fall into the temptation of being judgmental. Bawal judgmental. But in humility, we allow Jesus, our divine physician, to enter into our life and heal us like what Levi did in his life. It is only when we humble ourselves and recognize that we are sick, in need of healing, sinners in need of forgiveness, broken in need of restoration in life, in pain in need of comfort, and in confused in need of understanding, God's understanding, that we can truly see how the mercy and healing of God flows in our life. It is only when we approach our divine physician that we can attain healing. My dear brothers and sisters, let's then open our hearts to follow Jesus, who came not to judge us, but to heal us and restore us back to God's loving embrace. Jesus reminds us today in our gospel, I did not come to call the righteous, but the sinners. Prayers of the faithful, Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit, aware of His call, let us bring our prayer, prayers to the Father. Let our response be, Divine Physician, touch us. Divine Physician, touch us. That the Church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful. We pray. Divine, Divine physician, physician, touch us. us. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties. We pray. Divine, Divine physician, physician, touch, touch us. us. That consecrated persons like Mary may dedicate their whole lives to God and to the Church through their witness of poverty, chastity, and obedience. We pray, Divine Physician, touch us, that we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are leading sinful lives. We pray, Divine, Divine Physician, physician touch, touch us, that the dead may experience the saving power of God. We pray, Divine, Divine Physician, physician touch, touch us, in silence, we pray for our other intentions. We pray, Divine, Divine physician, physician, touch us. us. Heavenly Father, direct the minds of those who called to make crucial choices in their lives. Give them understanding heart, sound judgment, and a burning desire to do what pleases you. We make this prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful, presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds and exaltation of all the saints, especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo our thankful hymn of praise, for truly even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread, into his hands broke and gave you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way in that same evening he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it.
For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us at this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May you make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop, all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed Apostles, St. Joseph, and all the saints, St. Saint Arnold Johnson, St. Joseph Renadimets, the SVD Martyrs, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue, you have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Gathered together as God's children, let us now call to our Father in heaven. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace, the love of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by the sacrament of salvation, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that we who have honored in veneration the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, may merit to experience in perpetuity the fruits of your redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We bow our heads, we pray for God's blessing through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. May God, through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, wield in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you have devoutly gathered on this day, carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty and loving God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go and share the good news of Jesus, the Divine Word. Thanks be to God. Blessed are you, blessed are you, amor.